Daryl is one of these, because he's an operator, he's always on the go, he's on the move. Kieran's knowledge of a horse and what he's done in his career is actually remarkable. Arcadian hero flying hard, but Medician. Medician goes on to win the Queen Anne. But the winner is the Medician, written by Kieran Feller. Second is Swallow Flight, written by Daryl Holland. He's drawing away, Fell Brabant, wins the QE2 in good style. Written by Daryl Holland. Second is Russian Rhythm, written by Kieran Feller. His worth ethic was uh, second to none. He'd go anywhere for a ride. Um, he'd go to Catrick for one ride. As well, I wouldn't really want to be doing that. You know, me and Dar are quite good friends. We were, we were close when we were riding, you know. Very competitive. And this, you know, this, this would be great for him, you know. And, and I think it'll work. He's, he's a sharp operator. He was a great all-round jockey. He was tough, he was competitive. And he could beat a lot of them jockeys even walking around the stalls by some of the words he said. So he had them beat before they got in a race. You know, I wasn't uh, prone to that because I know what he's up to. But Safin goes for home inside the furlong, goes two or three in front. Now Callaman gets busy on the outside. He's putting in the giant strides, but it's going to be too late. Safin had the better sprint in the end, and Safin goes on to win the St James's Palace Stakes. Islington under a rousing ride here by Karen Fallon. Islington with a short lead coming down to the line. Ron Press will be second back. just pretty much relaxed over, over a normal brunch in Dubai, really. Kieran only says what he has to say. And I said, you know, if I do start training, I said, you know, candidly, I said, would you, would you come and join me or help me out? And he said, yeah, of course I would. So it was pretty much like that. Well, I'll probably just give me the help out in any way I can, you know, with the horses. I'd be very good around horses. You know, I don't have to be on them to know. You know, I've had a lot of experience with a lot of good trainers that I spent time in the yards. I didn't just rock up and road work and was gone, you know. I've obviously got my uh, my name on the license. You know, I'm, I'm training the horses, make sure that they're in top condition, make sure all the working patterns are, are right and the preparation of the horses. And obviously it's a team effort. Kieran gives us massive input. I've got Aidy McCarthy who used to ride. He's our main work rider. And it's very good to have these experienced riders and, and, and lasses with you, especially on the young horses, because they, they can be like naughty children and they have to be told how we want it done. One thing that all the good trainers have in common now you have to be hard on your horses. The one thing, I mean, they're all individually different. They all do different things to an extent, but the one thing i found that, they, that you know, you must, you must work your horses, you know, feed them well and work them hard. And then they need the delicate touch as well, the kindness to them and the, the man management, down to the grooming in the evening, the petting, and you know, every, every horse is different. It, it really is. No one is, no one horse is the same. But, you know, I've been all around the world, Hong Kong, America, Canada, I mean, to name a few. I mean, so I like to, you know, use bits and pieces of my knowledge from them other countries and take that on board. And, um, you know, if that works for me, that's fine. It might not work for, you know, another trainer, but uh, everybody's got their own style of, of how they do things, I guess. It's filled out so much, that horse second one and when that horse first came to us he he was very light wouldn't eat but he's absolutely thrived and believe it or not he's actually a two-year-old he's showing all the right signs which is quite exciting really because you watch them change every day and uh, you know it gives you goosebumps sometimes what you see you know it's really nice when you're training I think your feet's better normally on the ground because you can see a lot more I can see what the horses are doing, as where if you're riding them out in the morning, you're actually only having a feel of your own horse. But yeah, I mean, when the horses go through the faster paces, of course, you know, I'll be sitting on them, Kieran will, and uh, it'll be like the good old days, won't it? The plan is to just basically 
train as many winners as we can and give the owners something different, something special, make them feel a part of our team. You know, we're not going to run it like a military operation. You know, the owners can always come down here on a Sunday with the family and ask questions about it's their horse, you know. And, you know, I just want the good feel factor of, of Harrington Court Stables.